Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome to the Bow Hunting Gal. We're in my little town, cruising down the road, heading to the post office. It's about maybe a quarter mile from where I live. So, we're getting up there. Here it is, son. Head into the post office. You know, without further ado, let's just enjoy the journey. Welcome to my town. Try that in a small town. See how far you'll make it down the road. Oh, yeah. Cheesecakes and more. Son, my wife does better. <laughs> and that ain't us bragging. It's not me bragging about my wife. No. That is a whole bunch of people that has been sitting there saying it. Oh, yeah. This used to be filled with buildings right here. From that street, right through here, all the way over to that building. This here was three businesses. And all of a sudden, whoo, big fire for some unknown reason. Sits there and happens and burns down three buildings. All owned by the one guy. <laughs> Suspicious. <sighs> Ooh, doggy. Yeah. Well, we ain't got much further. Welcome to downtown. Yeah, we ain't got very busy streets, as you can tell. <laughs> nope. This is an old coal town, folks. How you doing, buddy? All right, man. Friendly folk. As you can tell, they talk. They're kind to one another. See, we even got people that laugh here. You know, it's awesome. Okay, folks. Almost to the post office. Ooh, I'm glad I ain't got to climb that hill for it, though. All right. We're going to get in here. Ooh, we get this here. The done up to you. So we can get it sent to you. And then we're going to come out and show you the receipt. All right. All right, folks, there it is. There's the receipt. Just like I, I got your address covered up so nobody can see who you are. But we got your address covered up. We got her going. And so, now just to make my wifey happy. Yep. I have to go down here to Rite Aid and pick up her medications. And hopefully, oh, yeah. And hopefully we just have a beautiful, wonderful, and splendid day. Tattoo that on your brain. Keep 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 Yeah, boy. You know, let me get into something a little bit more serious. A lot of people, man, they don't, un I guess they don't understand what it is. They think that living up in these are big cities, and everything is the way to go you know but you know what when you walking around this see all this these are real people these are the real people 
Okay? Real people, real dogs. Hey, puppy! <laughs> oh, beautiful brindle covered. <laughs> No, but it's all good. Beautiful brindle color. Hey there. Hey, fella. Look at the babies. <laughs> See, look how friendly people are around here, man. You ain't doing that in New York. You ain't doing that. In Chicago, Los Angeles, and trust me, I know about New a little bit about New York. Remember one time leaving New out of New Hampshire, coming back, went to get off the bus there in New York, saw a dude get shanked right there. I turned around, stepped back on the bus, and I went and sat my butt down. I did not get back off that bus till we left New York. <laughs> call it scared call it whatever but to me I call it being here today now from that and that was good for uh, what 30 years ago 35 maybe 40 something like that alright folks we're here at the store we're going in see y'all okay folks I so far got some errands done ah uh, had to go in to my wife's dope dealer and get her dope from Rite Aid over her insulin. <laughs> yeah, being diabetic. So, I call Rite Aid her distributor. I call her a dope fiend because of, trust me, if you've seen the pills she has to take, Holy heck, son. You know, diabetics. Man, I feel sorry for all y'all. I really do. You know, no joking, no lies. I mean, real pain. I mean, I really feel for you. Because my wife, she's diabetic. Okay? Um, Forgot which one it is. I think it's type 1 or something like that. It's called child diabetic or something. But, yeah, man, she's, she goes through all kinds of hells with the ups, the lows, you know, the highs, lows. Um, my wife, damn. Tell you, man, it brings back hard memory on that. Because my wife nearly died on me at one time. And the first time I ever in my life performed CPR, I actually saved my wife's life. It was in me, I just didn't know I could do it, but yeah, that's from diabetes. Foam, she was foaming at the mouth, everything. It was, it was bad. But now, you know, my wife's here. She's good and everything else. So, hey, let's get in here and break the news and get this video out there to let you know. Hey, those broadheads are coming! <laughs>